Hey folks, meet the dynamic trio. We've got the heartthrob, salt, the fiery personality, Miss Pepper, and yours truly. The brains of the operation, Mr. Wisdom. Together, we're the spice squad known far and wide as Salt Pepper Wisdom. Today in this episode, we're diving into an intriguing story that adds a mysterious twist to the life of the legendary physicist, Albert Einstein, who reshaped our understanding of the universe, left an enduring legacy that extends beyond his groundbreaking theories. It's a peculiar and somewhat enigmatic chapter in the tale of Einstein's life. It's a tale that involves the genius mind, an unauthorized autopsy, and a stolen brain. In this video, we'll uncover the real story behind when Albert Einstein's brain was stolen and the fascinating journey it embarked upon. Spill the beans. Who stole the brain? Before we get into the captivating details, let's take a moment to appreciate the remarkable legacy of Albert Einstein. Known for his groundbreaking theories in physics, including the theory of relativity and the famous equation E equals to mc squared, Einstein's contributions to science have shaped our understanding of the universe. On April 18, 1955, Albert Einstein passed away at the age of 76. His death marked the end of an era, leaving the world in mourning for one of its greatest thinkers. However, what happened after his passing would become a subject of fascination and intrigue. Dr. Thomas Harvey, the pathologist on duty at Princeton Hospital when Einstein died, conducted the autopsy. It was during this process that Harvey made an unusual decision without obtaining prior permission from Einstein's family. He removed Einstein's brain. This act was not only unauthorized, but also unconventional, leading to questions about Harvey's motives. This is so scary. Dr. Harvey's rationale for preserving Einstein's brain was rooted in his belief that the structure of the brain might offer insights into Einstein's genius. He wanted to study the brain, to unravel the secrets of the great physicist's extraordinary intellect. The brain was carefully dissected, photographed, and even made into microscopic slides. Einstein's brain embarked on a curious journey following its removal. While some of it was preserved for scientific study, other parts were stored in jars in a cider box. Harvey's actions sparked controversies and debates within the scientific community and Einstein's family. Einstein's family was initially unaware of Dr. Harvey's actions, but eventually they learned about the preservation of his brain. In 1978, Einstein's son, Hans Albert Einstein, granted permission for the brain to be further studied by researchers. Over the years, parts of the brain were distributed to various scientists and institutions for research. Despite extensive studies and research on Einstein's brain, the quest to define genius remained elusive. While some structural differences were observed, they did not conclusively explain Einstein's extraordinary intellect. The true source of his genius, it seemed, was not confined to the physical brain alone. The story of Einstein's stolen brain is a curious and unconventional chapter in the life of a scientific legend. Dr. Thomas Harvey's decision to preserve and study the brain in the pursuit of understanding genius remains a subject of debate and intrigue. In the end, it serves as a reminder that the true essence of genius transcends the boundaries of the physical and resides in the realms of imagination, curiosity, and unyielding dedication to the pursuit of knowledge. Right, Miss Pepper? Totally. If you found this story intriguing, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more captivating tale. Yes, please like. Yes, our viewers can if they feel like. And please write to me. Salt, don't bother them. So folks, goodbye, and stay tuned for our next episode.